A New South Wales police officer believed he was about to die when he was savagely bashed by a self-confessed police hater, a court has heard. Lake Illawarra Senior Constable Daniel Poole was at the home of Jason Scott Cormack in Uadera on June the 21st last year to investigate reports of bear outs being done in the street that morning. A woman answered the door and Mr Poole asked her about a Holden Commodore parked on the nature strip. Mr Poole, a veteran officer with 34 years experience, told the woman he would be seizing the number plates as the vehicle had been unregistered for 12 months. Cormack strode out of the house, pushing past the woman, his then-girlfriend, and Mr Poole. You're not taking my FING car, he said. I am not taking your car. I will be taking your plates, Mr. Poole responded. The two men walked towards the vehicle, with Cormac apparently still abusing Mr. Poole. Mr. Poole said Cormac then attacked him when he tried to arrest Cormac for spitting. He said Cormac punched and kicked him until he could no longer stand. The beating left him dazed, shocked and sporting multiple facial fractures. Cormac who was in custody for five months until being granted bail by the Supreme Court bail last December, pleaded guilty in Wollongong local court in February to a single charge of wounding a person with intent to prevent lawful apprehension. The details of what happened next are still disputed between prosecutors and Cormac's legal team. I believed I was going to die as a result of how savage the assault became, Mr Poole told Wollongong District Court during a hearing on Thursday. Cormac insisted Mr. Poole threw the first punch and said that the officer's bloodied and broken face, clearly visible in the graphic pictures tendered in court, was the result of a single retaliatory punch. Judge Andrew Heasler was quick to rule out Cormac's story, saying, it's impossible to reconcile, Cormac's, version with the injuries to Mr. Poole. He said evidence from neighbours who saw the attack, along with the extensive nature of Mr. Poole's injuries, supported the officer's narrative. When Constable Poole was attempting to effect a lawful arrest, Mr. Cormack assaulted the officer, causing him to fall to the ground. Constable Poole was punched and kicked while on the ground and unable to defend himself, Judge Heasler found. However, he rejected suggestions that Cormack had kneed or stomped on the officer during the assault. The court heard Mr. Poole was unable to return to work after his ordeal and he had since been medically discharged from the force due to his physical and psychological injuries. I loved it, that's why I did it for 34 years, but you've got to move on, Mr. Poole said outside court. Cormac remains on bail, with his wife, who is just weeks from giving birth to their second child. They were married on Sunday. He will return to court early next year for sentencing. Illawarra Mercury